Welcome back to the Doritos Columbus Friday night kickoff. We just saw an incredible match number one between the eight seeded status quo and the ninth seeded heaven and earth. And now, guys, we're gearing up for match number two, the one I'm excited about. It's the seven seeded Carbon taking on our 10th seeded Darkest Hour. And I'm excited for this one, Chris. I mean, Carbon's looking very good after the five team land and Darkest Hour. I mean, they're practiced for this event and they took sevens without practice. So it's going to be a good match. They placed higher than Carbon last event and it was because of the veteran play style. They never get down on themselves and they always keep themselves in games. I expect a lot out of Darkest Hour. We didn't expect much out of them from Orlando. That's not the case here. All right, guys. Well, let's go down to the floor with Farouk for our team introductions. All right, all right. We're getting ready right now for the second match on the Doritos Friday night kickoff. And it's going to be a good one. Let's hear it for the teams coming out on the blue side. We have the darkest hour. Let's hear it for legend, Ant, Can Captain Anarchy, and Twilight. And their coach, Stabones. Here we go, fellas. And on the red team, let's hear it for Carbon. We got Defy, Best Man, Nadek, and Walsy. And their coach, Nether. All right, gentlemen. Here we go. Dark is our Carbon. Match two, Doritos Friday night kickoff. Lock it up. All right, so there we go, guys. The team introductions. No, no Darkest Hour fans out there, but a lot of Carbon fans. So, guys, let's talk about Carbon first. They are definitely going to be the favorite team here coming in with the seventh seed. What are we going to see out of them tonight? Well, with the addition of Nated, we're going to see Best Man and Defy sink into that support role that they're known for. They have the best BRs for a reason, and by doing that, they'll be able to support very well and let Nated go off. Extremely practiced squad going into this tournament. They've played very well against top teams. I expect to see the carbon of last year, not the carbon that we saw in Orlando. All right, well, right now we have Joey down on the floor with the beast man. It's best man. And I am here with best man. Now, carbon had a disappointing finish in the last event. What have you guys done to turn things around? Uh, well, first off, we picked back up Nated. We uh, <clears throat> actually performed well at our lands for once, learned a lot, uh, executed our mistakes, and, you know, we're actually prepared. And why did you guys decide to pick up Nated again? Well, uh, he, was, uh, he was the missing piece that we were missing in the uh, last tournament. And by the res our last place, you, know, you can tell that. Now, the last two tournament winners, some would say that they were surprises, but they seem to have balanced attacks. So what have you guys been able to learn from teams like Classic and Instinct? Well, I mean, yeah, their teams are real balanced. They have the right pieces to the team and, you know, I guess you know, we're just trying to work on the teamwork aspect of the game and, you know, not individually because that seems to be the, the key to Halo 3 this season. Absolutely. Teamwork. It's very important. Good luck to you. Puckett, up to you. All right. Thank you, Julie. Best man gearing up. Great interview. Yeah, and he spoke from the heart because it's true. It's all about the teamwork this season, and it couldn't be more apparent from the first event. He must have watched the Hot Pockets pregame. <laughs> Smart man, that best man. All right, guys, so that's best man. Carbon looking practice. They look comfortable, yeah. very calm, cool, collected. But so's the other team down there. It's Darkest Hour, and right now, Julie is down on the floor with Legend Pimps. Thanks, Puckett. I am here with Legend. Now, you are a very seasoned player. You are a legend. You've played on a lot of different teams, a lot of different players. What is it about Darkest Hour that's really working for you right now? I think the fact that uh, all of us come from uh, teams that we are all well versatile on and putting us together just made a good team and I think that we'll be able to take this event well, pretty good. Now let's talk about your relationship. You and Ant, you guys played together on Team Classic. Now you're back together again. So why do you guys work so well? What is it? Let me tell you something, Julie. It's called the duo. <laughs> You'll know it. <laughs> the duo. I, I'm sorry. Tell me about this duo. Can you expound upon that? Can you explain? A duo is two players that run really well together, shoot together, and call out together. <laughs> and you two do that very well. 
apparently. Exceptionally well. <laughs> Exceptionally well. Okay, now you played on the same team as Defy and Best Man back in 2008. You're obviously very familiar with their gameplay styles. So what are their weaknesses and how do you plan to take advantage of that in the game tonight? Well, I know Best Man and Defy are just going to come charging out with their BRs because they are the best, as Chris Puckett said, so we'll see how that goes. Wow, Chris Puckett, legend quoted you. <laughs> All right, back up to you. Oh, that legend. <laughs> <laughs> the walking dictionary that he is. Uh, thank you, legend, for that great interview. I love him quoting me. It's fantastic. No, but Darkest Hour looking very prepared. Definitely looking to shock Carbon here tonight, guys. Puckett, this is a team of four veterans. Four veterans that have on, been on this circuit for quite some time now, and they've all made noise in their own way. It's no surprise to see them making noise together. Darkest Hour should not be slept on. I couldn't agree more with you. I mean, this team's practice. We saw what they did without practice. And so with practice, I can't even imagine. But I think Carbon's overlooking this team a little bit. And you have to if you're Carbon because you just went to a five-team land. You're not expecting a team who didn't go to a land to perform. Well, talking to Walshie on the pregame show, he says we're not overlooking them. We're practice. And I think that Darkest Hour, I think they're looking to prove themselves here in this matchup. We're going to wait to see if they can do it here in match number two of the Doritos Friday Night Kickoff. We're going to a quick commercial break. When we come back, game one is going to start. The 2010 Major League Gaming Pro Circuit.